No freaking way, dude. That is awesome. Look! <sighs> Jeff's gonna be here in like an hour and I have just a few minutes to finish some homework so I'm gonna finish that up super quick uh, we're gonna head out pretty soon but first I gotta get this done so now that's done so now we're leaving I decided to skip all that boring driving kind of cut to the chase here. We're out here in the field. Hopefully we'll get some cool. Ready to start looking? Obviously. Oh, been a gecko. Oh. oh man, I was gonna grab that. Okay. Hey. Okay, there's that gecko. Oh, oh my gosh, it's actually, <laughs> it ran on the, there you go. This is the screaming gecko of screaming geckos. It is literally screaming at me. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I heard it. Oh yeah, he's screaming. Oh, there's another gecko. Grab it. Grab it right there. But grab it. Get it? Sweet. There's two very different looking band of geckos. Gives you an idea of how variable they are. Okay, here's an idea of how different they can be. Oh. This guy lives up to his name pretty well, the banded gecko. He's like completely entirely banded. And then you got a little bit speckled. This one looks like a female, probably grab it actually. Sometimes you could see their eggs. Yep, it's got eggs. And as you can see, they you can actually see the white eggs in the female's belly. That looks like a male or, you know, I can't really tell, but this one is definitely female. First little finds of the day. See ya, bud. Kyle has to go too. Kyle with Ender. See you later, dudes. Oh, he doesn't Or dude and dudette. Ooh. We're kind of just killing time till it gets dark, and once it gets dark, hopefully that's when the snakes will be out and about. We'll find some crazy cool stuff. All right, right here you got a little desert patch nose, western patch nose snake that really wants to bite me. Jeez, you see that? He was ready to tag me. There you go. Little western patch nose snake, super pretty. And they are wicked fast, so I'm gonna put it down. Go. He's not going too fast. Just have to get out of here. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go. And Jeff's locked out of his own car. There you go. That was weird. We were locked out there for a second. It's getting dark. Finally. It's time to see some snakes. Yes! Look! Ooh. Wait, let's let's get a look at this. <laughs> nice. Oh. oh! Kyle! Nice long nose snake. We're gonna get a better look at it later. Let's check it out. Alright, so right here we have the long nose snake. And this is one of Arizona's more common snake, but always super, super fun to come across because you can't complain with those colors. I mean, look at this thing. One of the more impressive colored snakes. This might look like a king snake or a coral snake or something like that, but it is actually its own little species. And it is one fun snake to have here in Arizona. And they're called the long nose snake for a reason. They have a very long nose. And as you saw, we got this guy just crossing the road. He's just kinda doing his thing, crossing at night. This is about an adult, an average sized long nose snake. They get, they can get bigger than this. I have seen them bigger than this. They got more of a checkered pattern more than stripes. 
because if you look on the side of their body, bands will normally wrap around the entire body of the snake, but this actually is more of a checkered pattern because he just has it going on the top, running along the top here, and then kind of just stops on the sides and has that nice speckling pattern. Look at that guy. No freaking way, dude. That is awesome. That is totally awesome. Jeff just got like a wicked clip of his cactus. Gotta check this out. Check that out, that's awesome. In the dark, that's cool. That is way cool. Got a nice hole here at the base of this bush. And this is where we're going to release the snake. And there she goes. Boop. All right, so it was a little bit of a slower night. Nothing was really moving too much, but we did end up turning up that absolutely beautiful long nose snake, which is always fun, but getting out and looking for snakes doesn't always go according to plan. It's always unpredictable. You're going out. Sometimes we go out, actually quite often we go out, and there's not even a single snake moving, and we just go home with nothing, but that always means you gotta get out next time. So. Even though we weren't able to turn up everything, we still had a great time. Jeff got an awesome photo. Be sure to subscribe, be sure to comment, and look forward to next week. All right, we'll see you next time, guys. See ya. Boop. See you next video, you carry guys. That for me? Woo! What do you carry that for me? <laughs> Woo! All right, did we get everything? No. <laughs> <you're a> <laughs> we forgot my stuff. No, so nothing. Hungry. Nope. I am too, dude. I am starving. Maybe we'll stop at Taco Bell real quick. I found a snake. I like that idea. <laughs> this was the best idea. Sleep increases your chances of becoming a statistic. I'm Jim